Hi, this is Peter with Side Effects, and today we're going to talk about the Feather Resample node. So this node is a utility node uh, for working with condensed feather templates. Uh, what that means basically is that all of the attributes for the barbs of the feather are stored um, on these uh, segments here, on these points, um, and they, they are driven by uh, the GPU and not drawn as actual geometry and saved as geometry. They're just saved as attributes on these points. So if you need to be able to resample these and work with those, uh, this node is a great utility node for being able to do that. So let's take a look at how it works. So first of all, uh, we're just creating a default kind of feather template. Uh, if you type in your ta in tab and say uh, feather template, uh, these are the nodes that will be dropped down right here. And this will give you just a default feather template. We're also adding a couple attributes that we'll talk about in a second. Uh, and then we use the feather resample down here. So what we can do is resample in a few different ways. Uh, we can resample the shaft base. And what that's going to do is resample this kind of bottom part of the feather the feather shaft. Uh, we can adjust how many segments that has. I'll reset that back to the to the uh, default value of one. Uh, you can also adjust this by length here too, just, just like a normal resample node would work. So you, that kind of works the opposite way where uh, the shorter the, set, the length is, the more segments you're gonna get. Um, so I'm just gonna set that back to count. Uh, we can do the same thing with the shaft. We can set the uh, number of actual segments we want, or we can set the length. And as we adjust this here, you'll see that we'll get more or less uh, resolution on our feather. Now, obviously it's not going to be able to perfectly interpolate between uh, feathers if you have a really low uh, beginning count. So keep that in mind, obviously, when you're creating your, your base feather templates. Uh, but what this is really good for is if you want to really reduce the, um, the, the resampling of these of these top points here uh, in order to make a more low res feather. So that's what this is really, really good for. Obviously up resing, you can do that as well. However, um, you may run into some issues if you go from too low of a, of a original segment count. Um, and then finally we can resample the barbs here. And so what this is going to do is actually change the number of, um, vector attributes that are saved on each of these barbs for the left and the right. You can see that as we make more of them, they'll kind of become more uh, smooth. It's not exactly the most obvious thing in the world here, but um, you can see that we're changing the number of segments and how many uh, kind of, you know, imaginary points we're creating that the GPU is then drawing. So that's the resample barbs section there. So we'll turn that off. So the last thing we should talk about is just that you can procedurally edit these as well uh, by giving it some upstream attributes. Here we have our primitive attributes. I'm just going to expand my uh, geometry spreadsheet here and we can see that we have uh, one base segment and 300 segments. Those are two attributes that we've set here. And if we come in here and turn on segments, we'll see that now uh, that value is actually driving the number of segments being made here on this feather. Uh, so that is what you can do there. You can also change the base segments here and we could adjust these attributes uh, procedurally and allow this to kind of drive uh, the way that our feathers are being created or resampled or, you know, downsampled, upsampled, whatever it may be that you're trying to do with it. Um, we could use attributes to, to kind of get that procedural editing that we're used to doing in Houdini. So that's basically how the feather resample works. And hopefully this will give you a better idea of how to implement this in your uh, grooming workflows. Thanks for watching.